This video was made possible by PCBWay. Thanks to PCBWay for sending me out this board. Hi everyone, I hope you are well. A few weeks back I shared this project that I had been working on which was reverse engineering a Game Boy Advance motherboard. Here's my reel from social media just with a quick overview. So here's the story of how I reverse engineered the Game Boy Advance. It was summer, which is winter for the rest of you, and I had nothing productive to do and my brain goes fuzzy when I have nothing productive to do. So I traced all the traces of the Game Boy Advance, drew up the schematics and then drew up the board. I used the copper scans of the board, available at moddedgameboy.club. I then ran DRC on KiCad about a hundred times and sent off the Gerbers to the board fab. I recently picked up this board which had a lot of corrosion all over it. Obviously the batteries had leaked inside and this level of corrosion is board cancer because it's eaten away at the copper and vinegar will do nothing but just mask the problem. So this was a perfect opportunity to get one of my reproduction boards made up which I did through PCBWay. PCBWay have some of the best advanced PCB options and one of those is a pink Sakura solder mask. While it's more expensive, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to show off my hard work in reverse engineering a Game Boy Advance. So enjoy these little shots of this amazing, beautifully pink PCB, which is so cute and pretty. While I list some modders, you should really check out their work because we have so many talented people in this community. You really need to check out these people. Also a special shout out to HDR for his HD board scans of the GBA panels that were recovered a couple years back. I use these scans as a reference to draw up the footprints for the board in KiCad which I will be sharing on my GitHub page. So through the magic of solder, flux and hot air, I transferred all the parts over to the new board. I scrubbed a few of the parts like the headphone jack and the power switch which were super corroded. And after a few reflows of the RAM and the CPU, I had everything working perfectly. Now for the colour scheme of the actual mod, I wanted to get one of those crystal clear shells like I had for my other board. I wanted to try out Funny Playing's new IPS laminated kits, which unfortunately I could only get this frosted shell. Which is okay because I can still see my pink PCB through the shell. A quick shout out to Robot Retro who sent me this Game Boy Advance battery to test out. I've been testing it out for a few months now and I find it's pretty good. It doesn't leak any heat whatsoever and also it has a swap over so when you plug in and play it will be using USB power rather than the battery power. Now this is just a little bit of footage of it actually working with my logo card and some Rhythm Tengoku and Mario Golf. and just showing that flashcards work. I uploaded the Gerbers onto PCB Way projects for you to order one if you want. Uh, this is just a way to replace an AGB03 CPU board if it's corroded or anything else. It's just a fun little project to challenge myself and also hopefully I will be sharing the schematics on that page once I clean them up and just make them a bit more readable. Also make sure to use code Natalie the Nerd at Z Labs, Retro Modding, Retro Game Repair Shop and also Extreme Rain. Check out Modded Game Boy Club where I give away a lot of prizes for free for modding competitions and high score challenges. Thanks everyone!